my mom had a thief in the garden. He's taken two of her pepper plants and she was going to feed them to her chickens and they said no! And I brought them home. The kids and I, about five years ago, six years ago, actually raised a bunch of these from this stage, actually from tiny stage to this stage and then when they um, actually will go underground and do their change and uh, I've been wanting to do it again since then because they are beautiful and they're fun to turn loose and uh, we haven't had them back in our area. I was super excited when I saw this little guy. I rescued him. I saved you. And now you get to eat the tomato plant that the dang raccoons killed. So you're a lucky bug. Lucky bug. He keeps reaching towards the camera. He does. He's funny. So we got to come up with a clever name for him. <laughs> Hi. I like the way he feels. He's, I know. He's just taut and strong. I tried to pull him off of the pepper plant and literally I could not get him off unless I squeezed him and I didn't want to hurt him so I ended up just grabbing scissors and clipping off the leaf he was on. I love him so much. Oh, he's so cool. So hopefully this one will eat tomatoes because my pepper plants are not doing well enough that I can feed him peppers. But I can feed him tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he's reaching for the camera. It's so cute. I'm going to put a, a jar in the dirt down here and then um, put water in it to keep the toma tom tomato plants uh, moist and alive a little bit longer while he's working on it. And then when he's ready to make his transformation, he's already got a ton of dirt he can go down inside of. So it should be enough. It's pretty deep. Yeah, that thing's heavy already. Yeah. Are you going to get the jar? Where's the jar? It's right here. Oh, is there already water in it? No. Oh, let's go ahead and get some water. Alright, so what do you think? What's a good name? Oh, I love hornworms so much. They're one of my favorite moths when they transform. I actually saw a hummingbird moth in the front yard um, this week, and uh, I thought for sure she might lay eggs, but I have not seen anything. Alright, we're going to get him situated and let him calm down. He's super scared right now. Just wanted to share that with you guys. It was pretty cool. Almost as big as my middle finger. That's ridiculous. That's a big, big. Beast. I'm gonna name him Vigo. He's super, super soft. Oh, I love you, Vigo.
know my girls are so big now. They're still in here playing with a bug. <laughs> Yeah, stupid raccoons broke it. He'll probably eat that too. I hope he does. Yeah, probably should. He's cute, but leave him be.